106. That was the official high out at Mathis Field today. It was also my forecast, so we got it right on the nose. And may I add, the only one who had this forecast, everyone was going much lower than me. 106 is what we topped out to. That now adds us a additional day to our accuracy streak. 13 days Nearly two weeks, right? And really, the forecast for the most part has been relatively, uh, relatively straightforward. Yeah, temperatures will kind of, I don't know, teeter totter between 102 and 106 degrees. For the most part, that's all within three. But we'll do it again with numbers tomorrow 107 degrees. That would tie already the hottest temperature so far this year. 106 as we head through Monday and on, or excuse me, Sunday and Monday. This will also be a few breezy days, a south wind between 10 and 15 miles per hour, gusting between 20 and 25. So a fire concern will be back in the forecast for the weekend. And then we stay in the low 100s as we head into early next week. And then finally, it looks like by the middle and latter half of next week, maybe some relief. And that may even come with a little bit of rain. I don't want to jinx anything right now, but it does look like by maybe next weekend, we could give us 10, 20, maybe even 30% coverage of some rain, but we'll wait to see on that one. In the meantime, 106, as I mentioned, that was the official high today. That has tied the old record set back on this day in 1911. And as mentioned, I didn't fix it. <laughs> It is the 20th consecutive day. I messed this up earlier today. It shouldn't say 19. It's the 20th consecutive day. I'm, I'm a little all over the place. I apologize. But it is 20 consecutive days that we've been at or above 100 degrees. And tomorrow we'll be right back there between 102 and 106. The normal for this time of year is 95. The record is 108. That was set back in 1924. The heat index value is going to be between 105 and 108 degrees across the board. And because of this, we do have a heat advisory that goes into effect tomorrow. Now, this is not just a one-day heat advisory. So for all the counties behind me that are shaded in orange, this goes into effect at noon tomorrow through 7 o'clock on Sunday. That's how long this heat's going to be sticking around. So as a result, I do have heat index values between 105 and 110 degrees all weekend long. So be prepared for that. All right, outside, there's been a little bit of rain up in parts of Scurry and Fisher County, as promised in the 20 minutes I last saw you, uh, those showers have continued to dissipate. That's really it across the board. Widening out our view across all sections of the Lone Star State, a couple of severe warm storms there north of the interstate in the Texas Panhandle, some showers out towards Big Bend, but these showers aren't moving in our direction and they will continue to dissipate as we head through the next few hours. So as a result, as we head through the rest of tonight, clear to mostly clear skies. Tomorrow we'll start out in the upper 70s to lower 80s, and then that thermometer quickly rising back into the upper 100s, really 107, with heat index values more than 105. Sunday we'll go to church at 77, 106 by the afternoon, and then staying hot and breezy by Sunday. Keep in mind, we really do have the drought concerns back in play, so any of our uh, the dry that's out there, the, the, cigar bu the cigarette butts, the, the, the sparks, that sort of thing, just the, 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 the fires that go on outside, they will likely spread very quickly because our winds will be gusting upwards between 20 and 25. So be very mindful of that. Your forecast for the rest of tonight will drop down to about 79, a mostly clear night. Uh, warm and muggy, that's been the name of the game and that will continue for your Friday night. Tomorrow, temperatures right around 107. Generally speaking, will be between 103 and 107 depending on where you live. Heat advisory in play, it will feel more like 105 to 110, so be ready for that. The next seven for the big country shows you we stay in the low 100s as we head into the second half of the weekend, 105, 80 Monday morning, 104 by the afternoon. Stay in the upper 70s Tuesday and Wednesday, low 100s, and then as promised, a little bit of relief. By Thursday and Friday, temperatures will start in the middle 70s and then climb into the upper 90s. And then I showed you the Concho Valley forecast moments ago, staying right around 105 to 107 for the next three days. And then maybe, maybe some reprieve by the middle and latter half of next week.